hello friends you're welcome to my youtube channel so it's your lady it's your queen it's your girl la v at belvy creations the beautiful life channel where you are allowed to do your facials smoothies health care and you know a whole lot of chit chat so here i am on my way to banjo as you all know banjo is one of the economic zones in china got Yivu and basically would say that Guanjo is equal to Africans as Yivu is to Arabs. So basically when you go to Guanjo you're going to see a whole lot of like so many Africans as much as when you go to Yivu you're going to see so many Arabs from the United Arab Emirates and from every other part where there are Arabs in the world. Most of them come to Yivu to do business. So back into the video. So here I am in China, Guangzhou. I am lodged at a hotel called Fu Yang Hotel. Basically, Fu Yang Hotel and a couple of hotels around this area are the only hotels that are allowed to lodge Africans. In China, you cannot walk into any hotel as a foreigner and be allowed to live in that hotel. There are hotels designed to lodge foreigners as well as there are hotels that cannot take in foreigners so i am at a hotel that is allowed to take in foreigners um basically when you walk into a hotel when you walk into a hotel you've got your passport you've got your visa and this hotel registers you and this registration automatically goes into the system of the police station attached to that area so when you register at a hotel your personal um documents are actually circulated into the system that is connected to the police station at the area where you are registered in that is why as a foreigner it is not every hotel you will walk into china that is allowed to register foreigners so here i am at this area in Guangzhou that allows black africans to be registered basically um Staying at this hotel, I have not heard or seen any white people registered at this hotel. So you watching this video as a white person, the question I'm about to ask you is, if you have ever been to Banjo, where do you lodge at? Are you allowed to lodge into this hotel where I am lodged at? Because what I've been made to understand is that it is only Africans that are allowed to lodge into this hotel. I've actually seen a black African guy walk into this hotel with his white girlfriend. But I've not seen any white people um, um, living at this hotel. But that's not an issue anyway. So back into the video. So basically, we pay about 80, to 80 yuan to 250 yuan to be able to lodge at this hotel per day. Africans in Guangzhou are not allowed to live in a normal house. I actually spoke to an African friend of mine who told me that he was chased out of his house. He had a whole lot of pressure. He had a whole lot of, you know, policemen coming in to interview him, ask him this, ask him that. And finally, he was kicked out of the house by the house owner and he ended up lodging at this hotel. When you lodge into a hotel, it means that your stay is not permanent that means your stay is temporal which you have to eventually move out move to somewhere else or move back to your country whatever it is i would like to know your comments at the comments section meanwhile let me just enjoy my stay in Guangzhou and let me know your comments at the comment section goodbye and see you next time while i go around and enjoy my stay here bye bye